Hello guys, Cypher here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. <laughs> um, and uh, this one's a little different because we kind of have a uh, two-in-one. And uh, there is a reason for this, um, because they are from the same series. And I just thought it would be cool to kind of just put them together instead of making two separate videos, basically. Um, but obviously, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be unboxing uh, both Inuyasha and Kagome. And obviously, I wanted to unbox these two together for various reasons. And as I have said before, Inuyasha merch is very hard to find. And even if you do find it, it can be quite expensive. But things like actual figures and that are pretty rare. Like, I have never found any. Um, but since the release of Yashahime, they have brought out uh, some new ones. Um, very basic, simple ones, but uh, obviously because I don't have much, I am determined to get it all. So when, uh, so obviously as you saw, I have all of uh, the Yashihime princesses, Moroha, Setsuna and Toa. Um, but then they released uh, Kagome, Inuyasha, Kikyo, and, a bit of a spoiler, they have just released a Sesho Maru one as well which I have pre-ordered, so look forward to that in the future. So these were originally meant to be released in December and I did a pre-order where I did a pay later scheme, so obviously you pre-order and then when they get released is when you pay the full amount. Um, they also, so it was from Dekai Anime, if I forgot to mention that, um, and sometimes they give you a pay 50% maybe or so. Uh, and, and they tend to do a lot of sales as well, like 10% or so most of the time, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, so yeah, meant to be released in December and they got pushed forward to February, which, you know, it's not bad, but it was good that they kept uh, you updated. They sent a long list of various figures. Um, obviously, these are on the list, so, but they have arrived safely and it was nice. So, yes, let's just crack in. And these are also from the Pup Up Parade, uh, which many figures uh, I think to get, but we obviously have Kagome, so that's pretty cool. Ah. Oh, and she looks really nice. And obviously I got the, the green colour scheme. I like that, because obviously, because they released Kikyo, they couldn't put her in her new shrine gear, because then they really would kind of look the same, sad to say. Um, Although I never saw the resemblance, I'm not going to lie to you, um, but whatever. Um, yeah, so we got her in her classic uh, school uniform look, and uh, again, this is a uh, yeah pop-up parade uh, by the Good Smile Company, who which are vastly becoming one of my favourites to buy from, apart from Ban Presto. So uh, yes, um, I'm saying that probably someone will correct me, but they may be the same. I don't think they are, but yeah. So you see uh, Kagome Higurashi and with uh, Inuyasha, so that's really cool. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna uh, get Inuyasha out and then I will start unboxing. So yes, my Inuyasha collection has vastly grown in the last, not even year, it's a few months I would say. Because um, I off the bat bought uh, some pop figures which looked really cool. Uh, and pops normally aren't my thing, but... Um, that's what I went for, because they have quite a few variations of that. Ooh, he's wrapped up quite tight. <laughs> so yeah, wrapping is top notch, it's all secured, no chance of being damaged at all. Um, yes, and now we have uh, the Yashihime Princesses, um, also a, what was it, a Posket, Q Posket, uh, one I did before of a human Inuyasha, and now I have both Inuyasha and Kagome, and oh, they look so cool, really, really cool, oh boy, oh, the details, amazing, so obviously he's got a uh, Tetsaiga with him, but obviously in its uh, untransformed state, uh, which is still cool. 
like if I were to make like a really massive prop, I feel like uh, Tetsiger would be one of them. And I even tried to imagine doing it so it could like you could pull it out of the sheath and it could transform, but I feel like that might be pushing it a bit. But who knows? Maybe one day yet. Right, so I'm gonna open up with Inuyasha first. And like, you know, very basic figures in the scheme of things, but that's it's quite large, actually. I'll say that's a good 30 centimeters tall, should be nice. Um, and it's got that, um, I don't want to say hexagon, I don't think that's right, but you know, the um, uh, shaped base which uh, the others have, so it's nice. And I'm also going to save this packaging because you never know when you're going to need it again. Yeah, the detail looks great. What I like is they haven't done the hair uh, like white, white, white. It's more like of an off-white, even like silvery grey, which is actually the colour of his hair. Um, both him and Seshomaru, uh, it's known. But uh, obviously it looks white in the anime. So, there's that. But that's quite nice. There's a Tetsiger's sheath that I presume you pop on the end. Cut that down. <laughs> never a dull moment, guys. Never a dull moment. <laughs> yeah. So, and uh, as you can see, well, actually, it looks very orange on the camera, but it is. Oh, it kind of does look orange. Well, I suppose because it's like see-through, so it might be red, but it's a uh, very off red. Out the base. Yeah, pretty plain base as the others were, which is nice. And now we're just gonna take the boy out. Ooh. That's yeah, so cool. He's wrapped up quite nicely. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, the eye detail with these ones is always really nice. I've noticed that. I, I don't think the camera's going to capture it very well. Probably not. It's like the lovely gold colour. Okay, so... How does this work then? <clears throat> so... I'm gonna put the other end of the sword on. If it'll let me. So on another note, we will sadly be coming to an end with Yashahime very soon. So there is that. Ah, I see. It's like a little uh so the sword goes like that, I presume. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to, it's like right under the hair. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Good. That saga like that, which is really nice. And then just pop him on his stand. Ooh, that went really nice and smooth. I appreciate that. There we go, so that is Inuyasha, and uh, very nicely detailed, very nice colours, shading looks really cool, it's got his uh, rosary, that's yeah, very very nice. Okay, uh, we'll swiftly move on to Kagome. I'm a little bit um, disappointed they didn't like do her with like her arrows. Um, you know, obviously, you know, she always has his sword. And then Kagome, um, she's not. How do I put this? Like, she's not a weak character. Like, she's quite a strong female, you know, lead. Like, especially when dealing with Inuyasha, she's very like firm and you know, got quite a fire to her. Um, but. Uh, you know, she does tend to play a lot of sort of, I hate to use the word damsel, but, you know, there's a lot of times where it's like, oh, you know, she kind of needs to be saved all the time, but, uh, eh, it's just not a big deal. But yeah, I would have thought they would have put her with her bow and arrows, that probably would have been a bit nice, but she also looks cool as well. 
Um, and I think with this one, it would literally just be a matter of putting her on the stand because she is pretty much assembled. Yeah, I debated doing Kagome at one point, but uh, like I've mentioned before, I don't normally do female characters a lot. They do have to be like a particular favourite of mine for me to want to do that. I mean, she would be pretty simple in the scheme of things, but the one thing that would definitely irk me is her hair because she has that certain kind of fringe that needs to be like defined and uh, me being the perfectionist I am feel like I would never be happy with it so there you go I had just about enough trouble with Moraha and all she's got is like little bits down here in a ponytail so there you go but uh yeah there is Kagome and again she looks really nice really cool now I'm sure Inuyasha fans will tell me this but there is a bit of a big confusion as to whether she has brown or blue eyes now if i'm gonna get this right i believe in the manga it's blue i believe and then it's kind of like the thing i said with seshomaru last time uh with his little uh nendroid obviously the coloring is different and apparently someone did tell me that that is the color that was depicted in the manga not the anime because he was quite different in that one um yeah, so uh, I believe, so in the anime she's got brown eyes and uh, then in the manga she has blue. Um, but I kind of feel maybe they should have stuck with the blue just because it made her that much more different from Kikyo. And I think that's what we all kind of wanted. No hate to Kikyo, I'm not trying to be that person, but <sighs> she was hard to like, let's put it that way. Anyway, moving on, <laughs> we are getting a bit deep here. Ah, so there she is, pretty much... Uh... Oh, her base, that colour, I love it. it like, really, it just pops. And uh, it goes obviously really well with her uniform. Which... And just to do a side to side comparison. Now, automatically, I can feel that the Inuyasha one is a lot heavier. Um, I mean, she hardly weighs anything at all. But, um, yeah, and they've got, like, uh, not so much of a height difference going on. The same sort of with the Yashihime ones, but that is also fine. Um, you can also see, actually, in the camera, it brings it up. Uh, Kagome's got kind of the bluish highlights in her hair. Um, which, uh, so like her hair's not actually like black, black, it's got more of a navy tone to it, which also Moraha has, funny enough. Um, yeah, and, uh, Kikyo was more like black, but that, that, again, comparisons, no, <laughs> but, oh my god, you guys, mm, I finally have the Asha and Kagome, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say, they're beautiful quality they look great uh they've come very securely everything is in one piece oh well because i do forget that's a thing sometimes like you know packages turn out i'm like oh yeah you know i do unboxing but i've never actually had an instance where i've opened a box and something's been like really damaged and you think that is a possibility but obviously that depends on the company and packaging but definitely dekai anime so far 10 out of 10 would recommend um okay so in terms of pricing like i said before i did pre-order these and i did have the option to like pay later 100 they give you like pay later 100 percent. so they see the, the whole amount you pay when they get released and obviously because i ordered these together um they oh actually funny enough uh one of them got delivered first and then obviously because it was part of the order i got a notification saying oh part of your order has been sent and then the other one will be on its way but they pretty much arrived no more than a week after each other i'd say and it was really fast and they're really good at like keeping in touch with you so that's a bonus so in terms of pricing obviously uh i believe they were like 42.99 each at least that's what the website is saying now I have this funny feeling when I pre-ordered them, they were doing the 10% off, so they weren't exactly that price. But then I'm also pretty sure I didn't have to pay anything for delivery, because obviously it went over a certain amount. Um, yeah, so that is what they are going for currently on the website, but I have a feeling I might have just paid slightly less. But uh, like I say, pretty well worth it. Um, they both look really, really nice. And now I get to put them next to Moraha and all that. I would, I would really love it if they released a adult version of Rin, because Rin, like, for any kind of merch, apart from when she's a kid, and like with Seshomaru, it's quite hard to f that. That is like a rareness, like a real rareness in itself. But it would be really nice. Now we've got her, like, as a. 
I don't want to say fully established character because she was in the last one, but you know, like she's an adult now and has like a actual, you know, like she's she's part of it, you know. So it's like, well, you know, she is Setsuna and, Mo and mm, Setsuna and Toa's mother, so I would I would uh, argue that she deserves her own little figure, at least like something literally just like that, like in her nice little butterfly kimono. Oh, that would be so nice. Please, guys, please. <laughs> please, someone do it. I would be really appreciate it. But we do have Sesho and Maru coming, so we'll still have that, which is nice. But yeah, definitely, again, 10 out of 10, guys, and uh, everything looks great. As always, I've yet to really be disappointed, really, by any particular company, apart from Amazon, but obviously that is kind of like the whole third-party thing. But, but from, like, an official merch-selling site, um... Even think even like with Waiwai Kawaii, I've yet to be like really disappointed, so I would definitely highly recommend them. Obviously guys, <laughs> if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, I do appreciate it. If you have any questions or anything, do leave them in the comments below, I do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see more unboxing videos, be sure to check the playlist up there. If you are lurking, be sure to hit that subscribe button to let you know when I next do a video, including the notification bell, which should alert you, hopefully. Um, links to these I will leave down in the description below, but I don't think there's anything else to say, so until next time guys.